Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a pick a pile. And we're going to look at what's coming towards you. Now, these are general messages. They may not resonate with everyone. So take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who have subscribed. It is very much appreciated. So like I always say, pick a pile, pick a number from now, from one to three, whichever one stands out the most to you. And take what resonates from that message, okay? So let's jump into this. So we're going to start with pile one. And we are at... <clears throat> Where are we at? We are at, I'm going to say 50. All right, there it goes. So what is coming to my, towards my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit, for Pile 1. Give me a message for Pile 1. I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos. What is coming towards the collective? Show me. Who's the energy here? All right. For Pile 1. This is the energy for pile one. Oh, for pile one, you have your first card here. It says, get more information. All right, so what do you need more information about? Let's see. What is this energy for pile one? Get more information. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Why is it here? Coming out sideways is a blockage. You have the three of pentacles here. So could this be about somebody that you work with here? Or could this be about something um, that you're trying to build the three of pentacles? Show me more. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. So part one, the first thing I'm getting here with this Four of Pentacles energy, the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, is that there may be something here that is, well, obviously there's been something held back from you, right? We'll get more information. But it could have to do with finances here. So I don't know if there's some kind of, um, let's get more, some, some finances that is being held back from you or um, some kind of an opportunity here with the Ace of Coins. The Judgment. Show me more. Oh, and the Queen of Pentacles, which is your energy here. Three, four, five of Pentacles now. So that is an energy of being left out in the cold. <laughs> the bird's going crazy in the back. Um, now, the judgment can talk about making a final decision. All right, let's see. Clarify. Ah, do you know? Okay. What is the Three of Pentacles on the Judgment card? The Three of Cups. Hmm. So we have a, like a, we have a third party situation here. Now, even though it says get more information, I feel like you're going to be receiving some information. Because this judgment, talking about something being revealed here. And then this three of cups with this energy of having something to celebrate. But let's see. What is the three of cups? For part one, what is this energy? Thank you, spirit. The chariot. It's almost like whatever this is. Now, if this is finances coming through for you that you didn't know about. It is going to allow you to move forward here. Now, the energies that I have here, you could be dealing with a um, Cancer. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or you could be dealing with another Earth sign. 
with all these pentacles here, but I feel like this is strongly something to do with money. Give me one on the three of cups and the chariot. The page of wands. Yeah, look at that. This is good news. There's some good news coming in here, pile one. What is this? Oh, yeah, <laughs> the sun card. So this is, again, that energy of something being revealed. So I don't know if this is going to take you by surprise here. What is the ace of coins and the queen of coins? The pile one. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. <laughs> the nine of cups. Okay, pile one. So, you know, the nine of cups, it talks about wish fulfillment. It also is giving me this energy. It's giving me the kind of nine of pentacles energy, but let's see. It's almost like this energy of you being able to enjoy life's little luxuries here. Oh, the queen of swords, though, in the reverse. What is the queen of swords in the reverse? The star card. I don't know if someone here is dealing with an Aquarius here. But the Queen of Swords in the reverse could just be saying that, you know, again, you know, you, you, you don't have all the information about something. You don't see this coming. One more. One more. Star card talks about healing. For some of you, and for, you know, even though it's a healing card, yes, it could be a physical healing here, right? But this is more giving me you um, being able to kind of balance yourself out financially here. Um, or you could have a queen. Um, there, I told you I saw them. I felt the nine of pentacles enjoying life's little luxuries here. I don't know if this is you were dealing with an air sign who has told some lies or tried to hide something from you here. Or tried to kind of like um, cloud your mind or your judgment on something. What is this queen of swords energy in the reverse? Thank you, spirit, for part one. What is coming towards part one? Show me. The hanged man, yeah. Ooh, the ten of cups in the reverse. So could this be family? That tried to hold something back from you? And it's also this energy, maybe somebody didn't want to give you something because they didn't want you to be happy. They wanted you stuck here in this hangman energy. Okay, anything else for part one? What is coming towards part one? Show me more, Spirit. What is this judgment card? <laughs> the Empress. <laughs> All right, part one. And then you have the Page of Swords. Someone here is watching. But again, the Page of Swords can represent information, messages, truth coming towards you here. Whatever this is, it's going to make you happy. Give me one on the Empress. Um, for Ace of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. I don't know if for some of you, you know, the Empress, it could have something to do with your mother. Um, for some of you, this could have something to do with someone you have a child with. But I feel like, you know, part one, with that judgment, I asked what the judgment is when the Empress came out. I feel like this spirit saying that, hey, do you know what? Um, this is something that you deserve or... Um, this is something that belongs to you. We have the Ace of Swords, which represents truth. The Five of Swords. So there's some truth coming out about some sort of deception, some sort of lie here. And it may cause somebody to walk away from someone or somebody has to walk away from a situation here. The Eight of Cups, right? I feel like whatever this is, when it comes out about this finances or whatever, it, um, whatever comes out here about somebody trying to hold something back from you, um, I feel like you're going to be disappointed. One more. One more for power. The nine of wands. Okay. And the death card. Okay. 
Yes. Oh, look at that. And the, and the six of wands. So there's definitely bringing victory here, pile one. I don't know what this is, you know, but it is definitely good, right? Something's definitely going to be revealed here. You're definitely going to get more information about something here. And it looks like it turns out well for you. I just feel like when you find out who or what was holding this back from you is, is where the disappointment comes in. So I want to see um, what would come out of here for part one. Thank you, Spirit. He show me for part one. Okay. It fell out straight away. It says, you do you. It says, stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Okay, so someone tried to control a situation here. And Spirit said, um, yeah, no. So let's get a card from Archangel Michael. hearing something about the word accident so i don't know if this is around some kind of accident i don't know um if this is around some kind of claim or something like that i don't know if someone has been fighting for something here give me a card on kendra michael for part one thank you <laughs> what the hell all right so you had two turnover now, the first one I see is a number two, and it says angels of healing are with you. So, again, I don't know. Does somebody have some kind of accident? I don't know. Why am I hearing PPI? <laughs> you have a time of healing is about to bless your life. It says accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. Okay. And then the other one you had is a number 18, which boils down to a nine. I don't know if somebody was really trying to fight to hold on to whatever this was, right? Because you have let it go. <laughs> someone, someone here is forced to let something go. It says the situation no longer serves you. It says allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so that you can embrace your future. Now, the nine of wands could definitely be telling me that, you know what? Um, maybe because you didn't stop fighting that you, that this comes through for you, right? Okay. So let's move on to part two. Where are we at? I'm going to say 13. So what's coming towards part two? Thank you, spirit. What do we have for part two? Almost, almost wanted to jump out my hand, pile two. Opportunity. <laughs> what is the energy here for pile two? Okay, we'll take that. It's the same thing, success. <laughs> okay, looking good, looking good. What do we have for pile two? Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, King of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. Strength card. Pile two. What is coming towards pile two? Show me. What is the success card? Eight of Wands, something coming in real fast here, pile two. Show me more. Now, this could also be communication. Or well, this could talk about just action, right? Things moving real quickly here. What is the Eight of Wands for pile two? Show me. Thank you, Spirit. Oops. Ah, oh, I know you're lying. Where'd it go? Oh dear. Okay. Look at that. Judgment again. Oh. 
okay, spirit is out here just serving karma to good or bad, right? It's a lot of my, look at that, I'm, I'm saying that, justice at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of my Virgos, you know, I hope you're on the right side of this. What is a success card for pile two? Thank you, spirit. Oh, that we have the Four of Cups. I just said, I hope you're on the right side of this, right? Now, the Four of Cups does talk about missing an opportunity, though. Or at least someone feels like they missed an opportunity. You know, it's that kind of energy of someone, you know what, it's like right on the borderline of giving up and saying, you know what, this isn't going to work or this isn't going to happen. And then, boom, spirit just swoops in. It's that energy of believing the impossible. Show me more. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? Yeah, look at that. It's the Ten of Wands. Again, you know, that energy of somebody kind of going into their mind and maybe diving too deep, right? And thinking, you know what? This is not going to work. Nothing's not happening. Nothing's never going to move. It is, you know, I'm never going to be successful. I'm never going to find. I'm never this. I'm never, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Kind of an energy. And it's like Spirit comes in and blesses someone. So what is the Hermit for the Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups? And it's, it's interesting, right, because that's the full card. So we'll take it. But it's interesting because the more I look at this card, is the more I'm thinking, is the more I'm getting that energy, right? Somebody may have tried something once, tried something twice. Maybe you tried something three times, right? Maybe you tried three different things, whatever this is, right? And then look at that spirit says, hey, hey, look up. Look what I got for you. The full card. The full card is about having faith. The full card is about taking that leap. You don't know what's on the other side. But because you have faith, you take that leap anyway. You trust in the universe. You trust in your ancestors. You trust in the journey. What is coming towards pile two? What is this fool and the hermit? Show me. Thank you, spirit. The lovers. Okay. Now I'm asking what is coming towards you. For some of you, this energy may also have to do with somebody else. This four of cups could be somebody else's energy. Because we do have the lovers out here now. Unless you feel, unless this energy is about you and relationships and, you know, that relationship didn't work out for me. Uh, that one didn't work out for me. The next one didn't turn out how I wanted it to. You know, when am I going to find the right relationship? When am I going to find the right person? Spirit says, have faith. What is the judgment in the Six of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles. Show me more. Two of Swords. Thank you. Oh, the Three of Pentacles and the Justice. We just saw the Justice, right? Now, the Judgment is giving me an energy of something being brought back to life. Now, it could just be like your enthusiasm, right? Or your passion, Virgo, for life, for love. There may be someone here coming in that maybe brings some kind of balance here. It's like um, someone who's maybe willing to not only give but to receive, right? That six of pentacles, that equalness, three of pentacles. Someone who's willing to work, build with you. Now, if I had to put that six with that three, that would be the nine of pentacles. Hmm. Now, the nine of pentacles is a single person energy, but it also talks about enjoying life, right? Life's little luxuries. It talks about 
someone who is self-made. It talks about someone who is um, self-sufficient, independent. So maybe some of you are not only just worrying about love, but you're worrying about finances. Maybe you're just kind of in this hermit energy where you're just kind of worrying about everything. The justice is here. I feel like you're being granted something. Yeah, the success, right? I feel like there's good karma coming in here with the judgment and the justice. But you have the two of swords right in between it, you know, Virgos. And the two of swords can talk about somebody being very much closed off or just concentrating too much of them being at a crossroads. Or also, you know, it's kind of this energy, it kind of feels a little bit defensive here. Show me more. Yeah, look at that. Three of cups, you know, celebrations <laughs> and the two of cups. But then there's that seven of wands. So part two, you know, be careful that you ain't allowing things from the past to affect your future or your current situation, right? Don't let, it, don't let it affect you going forward here. Because I feel like even though you may feel like in a place where, oh, what is there to celebrate? I feel like there's something coming up for you. What is coming towards you? Show me more for part two. Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Empress wanted to fly. Look at the Empress wanted to land on the Empress. <laughs> okay. Know your worth. It's that energy of me wanting to say, remember who you are. <laughs> kind of energy. But you have the two of pentacles here. So I ask, you know, what is the three of swords? I don't know if for some of you, if there was a situation here with this empress, I don't know if it has to do with a mother, but the two of pentacles talks about somebody juggling a situation. I don't know if somebody juggled you in a situation. I don't know if somebody had a child with someone else on you and that kind of still sits with you, right? But it's almost like release the pain. Release the disappointment. Release the hurt. Because what is coming in for you? You deserve. You are worthy. Empress in part one. Empress in part two. Tower. With the Emperor and the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Look how we have the Empress and the Emperor. So again, you know, I don't know if this is about somebody you have a child with. The Empress is a father figure. This also could be about a, a boss energy. But there was something here that disappointed you, Power too. And it looks like it's got you in your head a little bit. Or it's, it's, it's a situation where you reflect back to. And it could be very often, but it, like I said, it's affecting you going forward here. Three of cards, two of cards, the hierophant, the lovers, and the page of wands. <laughs> There's a whole new world coming towards you. All right, let's see. What do we get from this deck for pile two? Thank you, spirit. a lot for power two but let's see what we got all coming out sideways it says whatever you are thinking about don't do it it says now is not the fucking time so um okay take that how it resonates i don't know what you're thinking about doing power two but um yeah you have believe what you see it says Face reality or live in fucking la la land. It says choose bravely. And then you have stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. It says spend your it says spend your time on someone worth it. 
don't waste don't waste it on ridiculousness so i don't know if you are torturing yourself somehow here um pal to um yeah i don't know okay because you know what it, it it gives me this this is just an example okay but it gives me this kind of vision of let's say you you was in a relationship with somebody and you really wanted to be with that person let's say you found out that person was cheating on you right they were juggling you they had more than one person and uh, let's say for example this person had a child with someone else and now you i don't know if you say you you, you broke up with that person, but yet you keep going back and checking their social media. You keep going back and checking your phone to see if they message. You keep going back and checking the other person who they were cheating with to see if you can just check their social media. It, it's that kind of, it, that's the energy that I'm kind of picking up, but it doesn't have to be that scenario. It just feels like a little bit of like somebody torturing themselves a little bit here. Um, Again, you know, I could even see the hermit, the fool and the lovers here as somebody who's very much in their head about someone who took a leap of faith towards somebody else. And now it's made somebody here very closed off about engaging with other people, um, getting to know other people, uh, getting back out there. Give me a card, Archangel Michael, for part two. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a number nine right <laughs> the nine of wands which we have over in pile one which is a don't give up card you keep on fighting because there's something out there for you it says don't give up on love it says a relationship you cherish can be healed it says allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again so take that how it resonates I almost, I'm really tempted to say that, you know, it says a relationship you cherish can be healed. I almost wanted to say, maybe this is a relationship with yourself. Because we all know that if you, if you ain't healed um, it, to a certain extent, you know, you can't go out there and love anybody else if you don't love yourself. So if this is a situation that can be repaired with someone, then hey, kudos to you. But if it isn't, you know, heal that within you so that you can move on. And find somebody that actually deserves you. If that is your situation. So let's see what we have a path for. Where are we at? We are, uh, I'm going to say 27.50. So what is coming towards pile three? <laughs> Oh gosh, okay, so let's see what's happening, part three. Thank you, Spirit. What is coming towards part three? Show me. What is the energy here? Okay. Let me see what it is first, and I'll tell you guys if I'm playing. Oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> So power three, we have the unlikely card. Okay. So we'll see what is unlikely. I'm picking power one today. <laughs> All right. Oh, the high priestess and the six of pentacles. Okay. What do we have for power three? Show me what is unlikely. Oh, I see the six of cups. And the seven of pentacles, okay. And the tower, ouch. So, I don't know, pile three, I'm, I'm kind of getting this energy here where it's unlikely that some of you may reconcile with anybody from your past here um, or make any long-term plans or build anything. Look at that, six of cups again. Um, the tower is like, I don't know, maybe you're just not interested in the past, um, pile three, right? The tower is Aries and Scorpio energy, so take that how it resonates. I just saw the Queen of Swords, so that may be the truth for someone. What is unlikely, Spirit, for Pile 3? Oops, look at that, straight away out there. So you've got the Hanged Man, okay, which is Pisces Energy. Why is the Hangman here for Pile 3? We have, what do we have? Oh, look at that, the Five of Wands, the Nine of Wands.
show me more the page of cups <laughs> what did i say it's probably unlikely you're gonna want to heal anything with anybody from your past especially if these are a situation you know or someone who has caused some kind of conflict or drama or chaos or competition in your life here with that five of wands right um the hanged man and the knight of wands is giving me an energy of somebody here being stuck nine of wands is the wounded warrior so we we've seen the nine of wands in all three piles okay now, I'm also getting another message here, Pile 3. If there was something or someone around you that was trying to keep you stuck in that hangman energy, yes, it's unlikely. Because the Nine of Wands doesn't give up. The Nine of Wands may have been through hell and high water. But it's that energy of strength. It's that energy of, do you know what? This person in this car, they have their armor on. And even though they're tired... Even though they've been through a lot. Even though they look like they want to give up, right? It's unlikely. Five of Wands with a Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups can talk about an apology. Maybe somebody wants to apologize for causing some kind of conflict. What is the Hangman and the Nine of Wands? <laughs> cannot i'm definitely picking power one <laughs> the king of swords the Grace libra and gemini energy here so there may be an air sign here but let's see what is this king of swords king of swords also represents the truth so again what i said could be the truth for someone you have the full card aries and aquarius energy so someone definitely could be dealing with an aquarius um, we've got the page of wands at the bottom of the deck, the three of swords and the nine of pentacles. Somebody wants to communicate here with you, Virgos. And this person could be heartbroken or they could have caused you some pain with the three of swords. But this may be somebody who's looking at you as good news, right? Nine of pentacles. So par three, whoever you are, you look like you're doing okay. Okay, magician wanted to show its face. Oh, okay, pal free. The magician and the emperor. I don't know if um, this was someone who maybe in the past tried to control a situation. Take it how it resonates, right? Take that magician how you want to take it. It could have just been manipulation. Um, and manip manipulation comes in, you know, all different kinds of forms, um, especially with that emperor, right? This could have been someone who wanted control, power over you. But with that... King of Swords and that full card. This may be someone who wants to take a leap of faith towards you. This could also be someone who's feeling foolish. Give me one on this King of Swords and this Fool energy. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Now that was the... um. Six of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. I'm going to have to be honest, Virgos. Power free? I don't know. Now, I could take this, this Six of Cups two ways. I could just take it as, hey, this is somebody coming back from your past. Maybe this is someone you've known from childhood. doesn't have to be. For some of you, it could be someone you have a childhood. Or for some of you with the Six of Cups, this could be a soulmate energy. The Ten of Pentacles can talk about something long-term. And then the Six of Wands, it talks about victory. So I don't know. For some of you, power free, if you wanted to reconcile with this person, I don't know. Maybe it would work out. But give me one on this King of Swords and the Full card. Thank you, Spirit. The three of swords. So it came out anyway. What is this? The page of wands, the same. Okay. So this is, I feel like this is someone who wants to communicate this. I feel like this is someone who is, you know, feeling some type of way here. Maybe they are stuck about reaching out to you, but this person could be seeing something from a different perspective as well here. But maybe they are not reaching out to you because maybe that unlikely energy is them saying to themselves, hey, it's unlikely that Virgo is going to talk to me. It's unlikely that, you know, the Virgo are going to want to listen. 
So show me what this Five of Wands and this Page of Cups is because I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Page of Swords and the Two of Wands and the King of Wands. Okay, great. So that kind of clarifies things for me. Now, this person may have been working in cahoots with someone. It may have been a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. But that Page of Swords almost gives me the energy of this person maybe um, getting some clarity. Or finding out some information about a situation. And maybe that's what the five of wands is. Maybe that's what that conflict is, right? And now they want to come and apologize because the two of wands talks about, hey, somebody taking, I want to say a different route, going down a different road, maybe leaving that fire sign behind. Hmm. All right, what is the five of wands and the page of cups? The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, okay. And look at that, the Nine of Cups with the Page of Cups. There's a Ten of Cups, so that's also emotional fulfillment. So we also we saw the Ten of Pentacles, now we're seeing the Ten of Cups, Pile Free. I'm hearing that, and is that a song or is that just an advert? I don't know these days, they just be fraying so much stuff in my head, it's like... I'm hearing you can have it all. What is the Nine of Cups? Oh, look at that, the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Huh? This is somebody crying over spilt milk here. This is somebody in their emotions, Virgo. What is the Nine of Cups? Why is the Nine of Cups here for the Five of Wands? Look, it came back out. Look at that. I told you, the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> six of wands <laughs> all right spirit give me one more nine of cups oh okay and the ten of pentacles what is this the eight of cups and the devil what is the eight of cups because, I, again, it's giving me this energy of whoever this is. I feel like they're walking away from something, someone, some kind of um, deception, some kind of uh, some conflict here. They're walking away from someone. You see this mole? It's almost like somebody finding out someone's a liar or a cheat or something like that. And them walking away from the situation. And even though this is the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, again, with that Page of Cups, still makes the Nine of Cups. This is someone who is walking towards their wish fulfillment here. Now, the devil can maybe be saying to me that maybe, maybe someone here is obsessed. And in obsessed, you know, in a way that they can't stop thinking about you, Virgos, or they can't stop thinking about this situation. What is the devil, Spirit? Thank you. The Eight of Pentacles. I don't know if you work with this person here. Or, um, because Eight of Pentacles is a skilled card, right? Someone who's very skilled at what they do, you know, it's my master card. But it's also the energy of somebody maybe wanting to put the hard work and effort into a situation here. So for some of you, you know, maybe this person just wants to work with you. Maybe it's not necessary love. You have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom. <laughs> maybe it's not love, okay? Maybe it is. But again, that energy of you can have it all. So maybe this will be like a, you know, you could, you know what I'm saying. Six of swords, moving to karma waters, but the two of pentacles is someone doesn't know how to do this. The lovers with the eight of wands, seven of cups. So this person, wow, the two of cups and the king of cups. Okay, this definitely could be love and business. You could probably work with this person. You know, they may want to work with you, but they have love for you at the same time. You know, and I'm not, do I want to say it? I was going to say, I'm not even going to lie to you, you know. Wouldn't that be the kind of ideal relationship that you would want, right? That partner where you guys are absolutely in love with each other, but you can, you know, work together as well, build something together, build that Ten of Pentacles, that legacy together. That kind of ride or die partner, right? Give me a card for power three. 
It says stop sleeping so damn much. It says you're missing some cool shit. I don't know. Maybe this person um, sleeps a lot. <laughs> maybe they dream about you here. <laughs> I'm also hearing this is someone who is feeling... Um, now, this may not be for everyone, but this may be someone who is feeling not very um, not very motivated here. Um, you know, it's that energy of, you know, when you feel like there's a part of you that is missing. But let's see. I'm I'm hearing I'm hearing pop smoke now, mood swings. So this could be someone who's having mood swings, which wouldn't surprise me, right? If it's an air sign, respectfully, um, you know, air signs. Not everyone. <laughs> kind of try and save myself there a little bit. <laughs> well, the air signs come for me. <laughs> so you have, yeah, look at that. Shit is going down with your job. It says reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. So again, for some of you, this may just be someone who sees that you're doing kind of very well for yourself or, you know, and they just may want to partner up with you or maybe they just want some advice or something like that. Maybe who they were working with, they're walking away from, right? We do have the eight of pentacles out here. All right. Anything else? You have, it's not everyone else's fault, it's yours. It says you're a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Yeah, and maybe that's why that page of cups is out there. So let's get a card from Archangel Michael and then I'm going to end out this reading, Virgo. So if anything in this reading did resonate with you, whichever pile you chose, do hit that thumbs up for me, guys, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Look at that, in the reverse. Why are you coming out in the reverse? <laughs> Now, I don't know what this person done here, um, Virgos, or what the situation is. But for this to come out in the reverse, this tells me that somebody here doesn't have spiritual protection. Because in the upright, it says Archangel Michael is with you now. Archangel Michael said, I ain't working with this person. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyway, it says the number three, right? It says, even though you can't see it, I am actively working on this situation. I am here and helping you. But that's the energy that I got. I want to get one more for this pile three because it came out in the rest. That's the energy I got that someone here doesn't have spiritual protection. One more. And maybe that is why things are going wrong for them, right? Maybe someone here is being served some kind of karma. Yeah, look, you have the number 41. It says your loved ones are safe. It says let go of your fears and worry for your loved ones. It says let go of your fears and worry for your loved ones. I am looking after them. So again, you know, we saw that magician, that manipulation with that emperor. I don't know if this person was doing magic on you or whatever here, right? But yeah, that's what I have. <laughs> that's where I'm going to leave it. So guys, again, if this is where we part, stay safe, love and light.